Hey YouTube, welcome to Four Strong Winds. I'm trying something different today. I, I ran across this at Dollar Tree yesterday. It's chafing fuel. It's called, you can see it on there, Fancy Heat. It says it's got a two hour burn time. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, use it in your chafer like you would sterno or something, but it's liquid. It's not, uh, that's not, that's not the gel like sterno and the other chafing fuels use. I don't know how it's going to work. But what I want to do today is see how long it burns. If it's coming close to two hours for a buck, you know, might be worth getting a couple for uh, backup or emergencies. I know the folding sterno stoves are, you know, five bucks a piece or less. So I'm going to try this and uh, yeah, I'm going to light it and just let it burn for as long as it burns. This is a little different. Like I said, it's liquid. It's got a tight, you can see the liquid. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, the wick, it's already full of liquid. Let's see if we can light this puppy. Oh, it's lit. I don't know if you can see the flame on the video, but I can, yeah, turn off some light here so you can show that. Oh, you can see that really well. That's a big high flame, too. I'm just going to let it burn. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's been, uh, it's like 10, 14, so it's been a little over half an hour. What I'm going to do is, I want to snuff out the flame, let it sit and cool off, then relight it just to see how it works. Now before I, after I shut off the camera earlier, I, I checked the height of the flame. Uh, the tip of the flame, from the base of the camera, just over five inches according to this, a rough guess, and it's still about the same, so over half hour it's still burning, burning is hot. Let's shut this down. Let it cool off, give it a while, and then I'm going to light it up and finish the time test. How easy it is to turn off. I don't want to try and do that. I'm going to try the lid from my Stanley Cook set. That worked. I've got this sitting on a metal can and a metal grate. Those aren't hot at all. I'm not going to touch the can. I'm not that stupid. Take a short break here. We'll be back and see what happens. Okay, we're back again. We're going to try and finish this up. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot in there. I don't know if I said it when I started. It, it didn't feel real full. Maybe three quarters. Now it's well, not even a quarter, I don't think. We'll try it and see what happens. <clears throat> It lit right up. It's uh, 29 after the hour. We'll see how long it's going to last now. I don't have a lot of hope for this. It's got a nice flame going still. I'd like for it to work because it would be it would be handy to have around for a, a bucket can. Yeah, why not? As you can probably see, let me turn off some lights here. The flame is way down. You know, after after I relit it, I checked it um, after an hour. It was still well over five inches. Now it's deteriorating rapidly. Okay, I'm just gonna let it burn out here and see what happens. I'm pretty impressed with it uh, for the amount of, for a buck for the amount of time it it burned, and up until the fuel ran out, the flame was hot and high. And once the fuel ran out, it, it died real quick. But let me see. Let me try and calculate the time. Let it cool off, and we'll finish this up. I was badly mistaken. I'm eating my words. This lasted just a little over two hours. 
I'm very impressed with for buck. I think I'll go down and buy a couple more. For a buck, it's not a bad deal. Matter of fact, it's a very good deal. I've never seen it at uh, Dollar Tree before. May never see it again. You never can tell with them. It's up to you. But for a buck, for emergency fuel, emergency, why not? If you find them in your Dollar Tree, I think it's a pretty good investment for a buck.